Hey guys, I'm back with another video and this is my EDC get ready with me. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm doing is just moisturizing my face because that's very important in Vegas. It was so dry there. So you're going to see me moisturize twice because my skin really needed it from the drastic change. And then I'm just going to prime my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. This was my first time using it so I don't really know how I feel about this product. But I put it on just in case because I didn't want my makeup sweating off and I wanted to just make everything last longer. Staying in the infallible line, I'm using the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. This is my absolute favorite drugstore foundation. It makes my skin look flawless, like it looks just Photoshop. So I'm just going to be putting that all over my face and make sure to put it down your neck. So you don't look like you're wearing a mask, you know? And I'm just using a damp beauty, it's not a beauty blender, I'm broke, so I got that Real Technique sponge. <laughs> Then I'm just taking the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer and priming my eyes. This is way too light for me, so that's why I'm using it as an eye primer instead of concealer. And then I'm just setting the eyelids with Kat Von D Lock It Powder. Then I'm taking Tartlet in the Bloom Palette. This is like my go-to palette, honestly. So I'm taking the color Rubble and just putting that all over the lid. Kind of very messily. Is messily a word? Oh my god, I'm so bad at these voiceovers. <laughs> I'm so cringy, even even in voiceovers. I put it all over my lid very messy and blend it up into the crease. Just make sure it's all feathered out. Then I take the color leader and just put it on the outer corners of my eye. Just make sure everything is blended and everything looks nice. And then I'm taking the color that we use to put all over the lid and kind of blending it out and making sure everything just blends together. I'm sorry, I'm saying blend a lot. <laughs> then I take the color Smoke Show and I line my eyes with this, kind of create a guide for the eyeliner to make sure that the wings are even. This is kind of my trick that I do, just so my eyeliner is even. Then I just use the Tarte Shape Tape and put that under my eyes. I put some around my jawline so it creates the look of cheekbones, I think. I really hope so, but I don't know. <laughs> I just honestly do whatever that I think looks good on my face. <laughs> Then I just set under my eye with the Kat Von D Locket Powder. Then in the Tarte Pro Glow Palette, I'm just taking the contour shade, which is called Shade, <laughs> and just carving out my cheekbones. Um, this is my first time cream contouring and I don't know how I feel about it. I'm a noob at it, so I feel like I made it look kind of muddy. I don't know. I just, I need to work on it. And then I do my jawline too, and I believe I did my forehead, but I didn't show it. Then I just line my eyes with my favorite NYX eyeliner. This literally does not budge. I showered in it, I cried in it, it does not come off. It claims to be waterproof, and to me, it's pretty waterproof. And I have a really bad problem with transferring, and this does not transfer. Then I just powder my face with the CoverGirl, I believe it's called the Healthy Vitalist Powder or Vitalist Healthy Powder. <laughs> and then I just do my eyebrows. I might make a separate video all about my eyebrows because I do use different types of products. Like I use the brow pencil and then I use powder and then I use a brow mascara. Like I use a lot of products for my eyebrows. Then I just contour my face with this Tarte Bronzer.
And I like to do my nose and I don't know why I look so angry doing my forehead, but <laughs> I do my forehead. Then I do my jawline. Then this is my favorite blush. It's from the e.l.f. palette. I believe it's called Light. And I like to put it on the back of my cheekbones rather than the apples because it makes it look like I have cheekbones. And then I just put blush on my nose and chin and throw on some mascara. I like to do my bottom first. I like to let them dry up first because if I do my top, then it just all sticks together and I can't open my eye. <laughs> I'm taking the highlight fire and putting it on my cheekbones and the highlights in the Pro Glow palette are amazing. They are so pigmented. I'm taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is my first time trying it and you have no idea how many times I had to pump it for it to finally spray. <laughs> Just spraying my face, setting it, soaking it all in. And then I'm gonna put these diamonds on my face. Um, I got these at Michael's, they're just like stickers. <laughs> so first I put on lash glue on my eyes. I am squinting my face a lot because I don't want it to be in the crease of where I smile. Like where my eye smiles. Like does that make sense? My eye smiles. <laughs> you know, where like my under eye kind of like creates a line or whatever. So I don't want that in there because it might fall out and then I just place them on there. And then finished with the look. And then I'm just gonna show you my outfit, which is right here. Very short video of my outfit. And then for day two, honestly, I kind of got really lazy with day two, which is why there's no day three. <laughs> it's so similar to day one that I don't think I have to like explain what I'm doing until the very end, because day one honestly kicked my butt and I was so tired. I believe I was getting ready around three. Day one, Ended at 5 in the morning, then I went back to the hotel, woke up at 9 to go to a pool party. I had like 4 hours of sleep and I was dying. I was so lazy with filming, I kind of blocked the camera with the in the balloon palette, which I got so mad while I was editing because I was like, I can't see anything, I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm taking later from the Tarte in the Bloom palette and just putting that all over the lid. Putting it on very messily. I'm gonna Google if messily is a word because it sounds wrong to me. It is a word. Okay. I didn't show this but I did take the color Rebel and started blending out later so it looked flawless and just blend it out. Same thing. I took Smoke Show and just lined my eyes and then putting on concealer. It's honestly the same thing, just different eyeshadows. <laughs> I will be posting up a video in a few days about my EDC experience and like how I thought of it. Because it was my first time at EDC Vegas and it was a lot for everyone. I met a lot of cool people who was going for the first time. And it was very exciting. It was a very, very fun experience. And I do want to do a video about it and also give some festival tips about it. So probably we'll get that up next week. I took a very long time with my eyebrows that day. I don't know why. I totally forgot to set my face too for day two with the setting spray. So you won't see that. <laughs> but it's okay because I wore a mask all of day two. So it's fine.
Okay, so I'm gonna be putting glitter glue right after this and I got this glitter glue from NYX and I put way too much on, like way too much. Oh my god, I don't know how to use this. Turn it on and then lay down and I'll throw it on your face. Oh shit, I think I put too much glue. So I started wiping off some of the glitter glue. This is my first time trying it and I honestly didn't know how much to put and I put way too much. And I'm just putting it where I would put my highlight and I asked my boyfriend to help me put on some glitter. Wow, loyal. I asked him to put on the tiny glitter so I can put on the chunky glitter while he was putting on the tiny glitter. So you'll see me put on the chunky glitter. This honestly was like not the best part because I was spilling everything. <laughs> I didn't have a clean brush to put on the glitter. So that's why I was kind of like shoving everything on my face. <laughs> Then I'm going in the Anastasia Moonchild palette and taking the highlighter called Purple Horseshoe to just blur everything around it, kind of go around the chunky glitter. Because I got purple tiny glitter and I got chunky blue glitter, so I thought it'd be nice to have a purple highlight all over my face. Make it all nice. Because I am wearing a sequin top, so I kind of wanted to go all out and be all sparkly. And that is pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed. You will see my outfit at the very end of the video and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.